veteran dog days at the park was started off to help veterans. I've been doing this program for right at two years. Um, most of the people that come here are from the Veterans Transition Center. Uh, from the Veterans Transition Center, I've had two veterans that this made a direct impact on. I got to meet one last night. Um, he had had a rough spot in his life. Um, and I met him last night and he told me that he's going to get his master's degree for PTSD counseling. Um, the dogs that are in the kennel can be therapy for the veterans and other people who, uh, who understand post-traumatic stress. You cannot get over PTS but you can learn how to live with it and handle it. Uh, this is an attempt for veterans to remove self when they take the dogs out and they can understand themselves better. Um, my wife prefers that I come up here one time a week to do this because she notices that I act a lot better when I come home. So this is therapy for myself. Also as community members that come up here, I've uh, paid for adoption fees on two dogs because people came here and found the dogs and didn't have cash money on them. It's five dollars. That's equal to a pack of Marlboros. I'll give a pack of Marlboros for a dog to be adopted. Uh, if you have a stray dog or stray animal that's around your house, don't kill it. Call them. The animals that can be adopted, they will adopt. If you have a desire to serve your community, find you an outreach that you agree with or start your own. You will find people that will utilize your services as an outreach and then you're able to help other outreaches.